Well, all right then. Happy Christmas to you too. I don't know about you, but it totally feels like Christmas to me because a new Pearl Jam album has finally landed. And it is a beauty as well. There's some cracking stuff on it. Now, I haven't spent long with the album, but I'm going to pledge to get um, a tune down a day. That actually sounds like quite a commitment. But anyway, I've committed to it, so let's do it. Now, we're going to start off with the first track. It's awesome. It's so good. I love the first track. Uh, and it's called, what is it called? It's called Whoever Said. That's a beauty. What an opener, man. It's so good. And there's some good riffs in this as well. So let's crack right on, shall we? Now, the intro section, I'll give you a bit of that. Um, it's basically this kind of... Bit of a volume swell and a pull off there. Um, part of a C chord. So if you just play those two notes... pull off from the 10th fret to the 9th. There's a bit of that. There's also this going on. Put that in as well if you want. Um, uh, and then there's also that. But that's the intro. And then Jeff basically announces his entrance with Why not? Now, intro section starts off a little bit like a um, bit like lightning bolt, actually. So you've just got palm muting for. That guitar continues in that theme. Now, after the first bar of. You'll hear um, a second guitar come in with this. Okay, which is just palm muting, and you're playing. like that. Uh, then that continues on. Now, I'm going to dial back a little bit on the volume because it's quite a clean, twangy sort of sound. Probably Eddie, maybe it's Stone. Maybe Stone's played this, but I don't know. Anyway, it goes like this. And then uh, you're into the verse, which is just an E chord. Now let's go through that um, riff slowly. This riff's tricky. Um, I think I'm playing it right, but it is tricky. It might actually be playing that, and I'm actually hearing two guitar parts. Um, so one might be playing... The other one might just be playing these double stops. So you could do that actually, um, but if you want to play on one guitar, I'm including the, the E note in there as well every now and again, okay? So. Alright, so double stops. Um, and you're going to be playing as per tab. I'll play it slowly. So four, two, zero, two. Again. And you're going to slide up to the fifth fret with this. Back around uh, in the into the second bar. Okay, so note that kind of two sixteenth notes. to this um so you can play it up here if you wanted but i find it easier to play it down here okay and then you are into the verse now the verse is very straightforward it is eight bars of e two bars of g uh two bars of a and you play the e chord like this So 
you let the E chord actually ring out for two bars. So two, three, four. Okay, and then you play the chord again. You effectively play the E chord four times, but the measure is eight bars, okay? There is a little fill that plays, I think, over the first or second bar. Um, you'll hear it in the background that plays this. Two, three, four, one. Pretty straightforward. Second fret. Fifth fret. So slide up to the seventh fret, down to the fifth. And then open A. where it comes in okay so let me play the verse round now, I think one of the guitars is just playing along with the bass at least one other guitar is playing third beat of the second bar that you play. And then you're into this riff, which is awesome. I got this one wrong. I did do another video for this uh, when they first released the little snippet. Uh, and I thought it was an F sharp minor, and I missed out some of the, the voicing. Someone did pick up on it. Well done you. So it should sound like this. <laughs> Awesome, I love playing this riff. So, um, A, and then you go to a, a C power chord, but you're gonna play the um, G in the root as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you go down one fret, F sharp major. Then you go to a D, you wanna keep the A in there as well, um, like you're doing with your C. But you play this. Okay, you're going to get that in with the chord. They don't play it every time, um, and they might do it more subtly than others, but I would put it in every time because it sounds awesome. <laughs> goes around uh, four times. On the fourth time you're going to double up on the... Okay? And then you're into the chorus. Man, the chorus is good too. This tune just gets better and better. Anyway, um, slowly round that riff. two times but then on the fourth time now the chorus is lush it, this is one of those tunes that um just grabs you instantly um it did me anyway and it's the chorus man the chorus is great um there's um a wicked um little coordinate i think this is what they play two three four <laughs> So, um, and I'm not sure, you can play it here. So, uh, I'm not sure where they're playing it, but it makes sense for me to play it up here. Because I do hear that. A lot of open strings, very open sounding chords. Anyway, um, you're basically playing an E um, power chord. But you need to make sure that you're letting the open B and E string ring out, okay? E strings either side, but the B string. 
and the E string at the top as well, okay? Um, and then you're going to basically take your little finger off, second finger goes on, and you're going to chromatically go down those three notes, okay? But with the chords. you do that fill. So nice, man. Um, so that bit shouldn't cause you any problems. Um, but this bit might do. It's just tricky. When you get to the third chord, just got to move your fingers around a bit. I have to move my little finger onto the um, ninth fret on the D string, and then my second finger drops down onto the what's that seventh fret on the G string. Um, you can play it here, which is just like one massive power chord. That might be easier. If you want to play the whole chord, you can also then get in, if you flatten your um, your first finger there on the second fret um, and leave the E uh, ringing out. So you can play it there if you want. Oh, at the end of that, the, you play it twice round and on the third time you're going to play two of these. And then you're into that kind of prog rock. How good is that, man? I love that bit. Anyway, rhythm. The rhythm is important for this, okay? So you're starting on the first beat when it first comes in. Thereafter, you are playing it um, just before the beat, okay? So um, if the first one is two, three, four. Okay, straightforward. That's on the beat. Two, three, four. But then you're going to be playing just before the beat, okay? So two, three, four. So you're going to find yourself playing up strokes for a lot of this, okay? that's enough on that let's get some prog rock in the house shall we right next bit's awesome um little instrumental interlude where you play or you could bend that last bit it's just great i don't know if it's playing a synth and doubled on a guitar or just on a guitar or what well, not sure i think it's probably stone that plays that so the first part slowly is Part of the um, A chord. Then you're gonna play. So that's on the eighth fret, tenth fret, and this bit you're gonna have to shift your finger in slightly because you're gonna play. <laughs> so cool. Then Mike comes in with this. It's lovely. Um, pretty straightforward, but it just sounds great. So you're leaving the uh, E string open and playing the eighth uh, fret on the B string. But you um, hammer on to the tenth. Okay, so. With the, so, but with the uh, open E. And then slowly it goes. So that is 8, 10, 13. Three on the 
number 13 once you've slid out. Then 10 8. Then you play the um, first bar again. But you simplify because the last note is that. Then you got this classic Mike Blues. It's a seventh fret bent um, up and released. With that, a pull off. Okay, so that through again to speed. Uh, and then you get which is a slight variation um, I don't know if the other one I'm not sure if there's two guitars in that part but um, yeah I think there's a synth that definitely sounds like a synth it plays and that note there is when you're into the back into the chorus and it sounds amazing it you'll hear it lift into the chorus beautifully so well done boys this is a cracker it really is so um coming out of the end of that second prog rock riff seven to nine on the b uh, string if you're going to play that but You'll probably not get to that bit because you'll be straight back into. Okay, so another chorus. Now, coming out of the end of the second uh, chorus, so this is the last time round. slight key change so one of the guitars just plays okay so you get that um, third fret on the A string to the second fret so C to B so underneath that you do have these chords being played A minor it's like an A7 with G in the bass then an F, which is a C, uh, to a kind of B, G I think with B in the bass, but you're only really playing. So the second time round, there's a, a second guitar part that's just playing quite cleanly. And you'll hear those two bits arpeggiated. Then it goes into full arpeggiation mode. Etc. Okay? That those are the only two variations I hear in there. So first time around you're gonna play. keeping my um, first finger uh, on the first fret on the B string throughout that whole thing okay that doesn't need to move but um, these two other fingers do so um, that slowly and then after that you'll hear the so the picking pattern changes very slightly flatten your finger there okay but I mean you can play that how you want it those are the options if you want them a little bit Led Zeppelin isn't it a bit of Jimmy anyway enough of that um, now towards uh, oh yeah there's another bit there's a, uh, a kind of very um, subtle guitar part in there which is playing um, 
three, four, one. <laughs> So the first part it just plays and then you repeat this next section several times, I can't remember how many, probably four or five. Then um, that cuts out and it's back into... Um, straight in with the same vocal with and then when he says that satisfaction bit you'll hear at least I think it's a guitar it might be a synth unison bend basically um, 14th fret on the E string 17th fret on the B you bend that up until it hits the same pitch as that, okay? Which is one step. Which sounds great over the top, man. It really does. And really nice touch. Um, and straight after that, it's still playing. Then the dynamics come right down, and you just get this. You just gotta bring it down, play a bit more um, palm muting. Now this builds and builds, uh, and the drums are great as well, until you get to the twice round of the... Um, then you're into... play that all day long and will do. Now there's a variance at the end um, of this bit because it plays it four times but there's a little in there which is a great little rhythmic variance so uh, the, the very last time of the chorus goes And then there's a little reprise, isn't there, with... Which is a little bit like Habit, actually, the end of that, um, where the drums come back in with... And that, my friends, is the first track off the brand new um, album by Pearl Jam Gigaton, and it is tremendous, absolutely tremendous. So um, stay tuned, loads more coming. As I say, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell as well so you get the reminders because I'm doing one of these every day. Oh, yeah. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.